Hey everyone, Joshua Barone here from Universal Value Advisors. So I came across something interesting. Costco has been selling out 24 karat gold bars left and right. On the surface, it might seem a little curious of a trend, but when you dig deeper, it really speaks to where people's minds are right now. With inflation cutting into the dollar's value and uncertainty in markets, people are turning to gold as a way to protect their purchasing power. According to the International Financial Statistics, National central banks have increased their physical reserves 19% since the summer of 2004. These reserves have jumped sevenfold in terms of dollar value in that time period. Big holders of the yellow metal include Russia, China, India, and Turkey. I would add here that these countries' holdings of U.S. treasuries have dropped in concurrence. Debt to GDP has increased in major economies across the world. Leading the race is Japan with 262%, followed by the U.S. with 122%, France with 110%, and the UK with 101%. The US is projected to increase this ratio to 134% by 2029. The trend is considerable, considered unsustainable by most reputable economists. For the US, a continuation of this trend threatens the viability of the dollar as the world's reserve currency. Purchasing power of the dollar and euro have trailed off in a most considerable fashion since the two pandemic. The massive injections of cash into consumers' hands by the government was followed by a large bout of inflation. While the inflation percentage has come down, prices remain elevated, incomes have not kept up. Note, you need a period of deflation for prices to decrease. Due to political uncertainty, global instability, weaponizing of the US dollar, etc., it's no wonder why Costco can't keep these bars in stock. Gold has performed exceeding well, exceedingly well this year, up 32.67% since the start of the year. The S&P 500 has returned only 21.85% since January. This has never happened in the history of U.S. markets. Something here will have to give. Goldman Sachs has come out and said the S&P 500 will not perform well in the future, predicting an average of only 3% per year over the next decade. That compares to 11% per year over the last 10 years. The U.S. government has spent $463 billion in September alone. No signs of change in that habit. Yes. Gold doesn't provide income in the form of dividends. No, it doesn't have a potential to increase revenues like a corporation. What it does offer is safe harbor against money printing on a world stage. So yes, folks, I am a gold bug, and I think you should be too.